Smashing Times Theatre and Film Company is a company that uses the arts to explore a broad range of issues. A woman denied the right to work is a slave. Earn your independence. We've been in existence since 1991. We work on a human rights based approach to promoting the arts, um, social inclusion, gender equality, linking people from diverse communities together, working locally, nationally, at European level and internationally. You're all right now, buddy, aren't you? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We've used the arts for peace building, for anti racism, anti sectarianism, for promoting positive mental health, for celebrating women's stories and history. So there's quite a broad range of issues that we're looking at. So many people have come to the school, tried to talk to us about mental health problems, drinking problems. You've summed it up in just an hour and a half, and that's impressive. Our motto in many ways is to make the invisible visible so that invisible communities have a voice. To encourage more people to join circles like this and to join this work, even though if it is hard, it is hard. Stories from the Shadows, that was a year-long process where we were followed by a film crew who documented our work in Northern Ireland, bringing groups together in a workshop process, in addition to people telling their story, as well as performances and post-show discussions. What is your interest? your expectations in this work. How do you describe a workshop? A workshop is an environment where you bring people together, usually a maximum of about 20 people. The idea of a theatre workshop is to enable a community to come together, so you're developing uh, bonding, you're developing a team spirit, you're, you're doing, using games and exercises that are very much about building confidence and self-esteem, but enabling people to feel safe in order to take risks. You can laugh, you should laugh. So you're, you're taking theatre much further in that the participants are now part of the creative process. What we're doing is important and other people are doing similar stuff to us but they're also looking to us for a certain level of expertise. We have a, a tradition in place where people see us and refund our projects, so we think that's very important. That's a sign that our work is having an impact. I am Mary Elms. I am known as Miss Mary. Projects that we've worked on include Women, War and Peace, which was about using the arts to remember women's stories from World War II. And the idea is to remember these stories of incredible women. Twelve tiny pairs of feet exposed to the harsh unforgiving elements. We made a documentary called Women in an Equal Europe and through that process we told the stories or the experiences of women from across Europe and their relationship with feminism. It's a, a word I've never liked. It's not about taking anything away from men. Many, many people think that uh, feminism is the opposite of machismo. But uh, I don't think so. I think that they are, they are different concepts. Huge diversity in our projects and quite a lot of work. And we're now trying to expand our work to develop an international centre for the arts and human rights. The vision we have is to establish a building in Dublin that is open to the public, where it's about bringing different communities together to use creative processes to celebrate and promote human rights. Our successes, I think a lot of it is measured in the impact that we have and we would reach at least 200,000 people a year with our work. So the focus of the company will be to develop quality artistic projects because we know from our experience that's the only way that you can use the arts to promote human rights. We want to grow, we want to expand, we want to become bigger and we want to have a reach beyond the communities that we already reach. So we see that as the culmination of work since 1991 and now growing into something that will have a bigger physical presence.